This is a video about leasing. I took the case study from chapter 15 of my textbook Basics of Accounting. I'm Carsten Berger, full accounting professor in Osnabrück. My basic scripts will help you to understand international bookkeeping. In the case study, the company leases a car from its dealership and the lease term commences on the 2nd of January in 2004. The value for the car actually doesn't matter, but we have to consider the monthly leasing rates of 850 euros per month, which will be 10,200 euros per annum. We want to simplify the case for that reason. We assume that all the payments will be made only at the end of the accounting period on the 31st of December. The lease rate in the case study will be 5%. A lease is recorded as a right of use asset on the asset side and on the credit side as a lease liability. For the right of use asset, we apply the cost model and depreciation as discussed in International Accounting Standard 16 PPE. For the lease liability, we follow IFRS 16 paragraph 26, which states that at the beginning of the lease term, the lessee must disclose the lease liability at the present value. For discounting, the lease rate implicit in the lease applies. With regard to the subsequent measurement of the lease liability, we must follow paragraph 36. It states that the lease liability has to be increased by the interest. Furthermore, we have to reduce it for the lease payments. I start with the balance sheet of COSOL at the time of the beginning of the lease. What matters to us is the asset side, where we have to record the right of use asset. Furthermore, we have to disclose the lease liability. The value is based on the payments. So we get three payments at the end of 2004, at the end of 2005, and at the end of 2006. The present value will be calculated as 10,200, which is the annual payment, multiplied with 1 plus 5% in the power of 3 less 1, divided by 5%, multiplied with 1 plus 5% in the power of 3. This is a formula for an annuity. I make a debit entry in the right of use asset account, which is 27,777.13, and I record the lease liability at the same time. For depreciation, we follow straight line method without a residual value. This is going to give us depreciation per annum to the extent of 27,777.13 over 3. For the preparation of the balance sheet as at the 31st of December in 2004, I reduce the right of use asset by 9259.04. I have to revalue the lease liability. I record the lease liability in a lease liabilities account. At the end of the accounting period, the company will reduce the lease liability by a payment to the extent of 10,200. The lease liability is compounded by 5%. The interest is amounting to 27,777.13 multiplied with 5%. I must record a debit entry in the interest account, 1,388.86. And I make a credit entry in the lease liability account, 1,388.86. I repeat the bookkeeping entries. The right of use asset and the lease liability have been recorded already. Next, I record depreciation. Next, I record as bookkeeping entry number two, the interest. The 
As bookkeeping entry number three, we record lease payment to the extent of 10,200. And now I record profit and loss in the profit and loss 2004 account. As we only got the expenses for interest and depreciation, the company will earn a loss of 10,647.90. The loss is transferred to the retained earnings account. We close off all accounts and start the next accounting period. Interest is 948.30. I make a credit entry in the lease liability account and debit the value to the interest 2005 account. This gives me bookkeeping entry alpha. Bookkeeping entry bravo is the payment of the lease, 10,200. We record depreciation. In 2005, the company makes a loss of 10,207.34, which we transfer to the retained earnings account. I repeat the same procedure for 2006. In 2006, the company makes a loss of 9,744.76, which we transfer again to the retained earnings account. The company recorded in the cash bank account the total of the payments to the extent of 30,600, which is 3 times 10,200. At the same time, the lease liability is zero balanced. Furthermore, we can see that in accumulated depreciation, there is the value of 27,777.13, same as in the right of use asset. We can record an realization account in order to zero balance the right of use asset as well as accumulated depreciation. In the retained earnings account, the balancing figure on the debit side will be 30,600, which is three times the lease terms. All the further accounts are zero balanced. Now that you have seen the video, take the textbook and study it.